Our next recipient, I refer to as the GOAT already by Tex, and uh, as a Georgia guy, you know, you're not really supposed to cheer for the Yellow Jacket players, but with Calvin Johnson Jr. on the field, it was hard not to appreciate his talent and skill set. Let's enjoy Calvin's video. When a professional athlete can simply be known by an unusual moniker, they must be something special. Megatron was the name given to Tyrone, Georgia native Calvin Johnson because of his freakish talents on the football field. At Sandy Creek High School in 2004, Johnson was ranked the best prep player in Georgia and the 37th rated player in the nation. With blazing speed and standing 6'5", 238 pounds, he was on every college's wish list. Calvin stayed close to home, signing with Georgia Tech, where he rewrote the record book. He hauled in 178 receptions for almost 3,000 yards and 28 touchdowns. A two-time All-American, Johnson is the only three-time first-team all-conference selection in Tech history. He also claimed the Fred Boletnikoff Award as the nation's top receiver in 2006. NFL teams were drooling to get Calvin on their roster, and the Detroit Lions made him the number two overall pick in the 2007 NFL Draft. He quickly established himself as one of the league's top receivers as a first-team All-Pro performer. He also made six Pro Bowls and holds four NFL records, including the single season mark for receiving yards with 1,964, previously held by Jerry Rice. Amazingly, Johnson would play his entire nine-year NFL career with the Lions. He retired following the 2015 season with over 700 career receptions, over 11,000 receiving yards, and 83 touchdowns. Calvin was named the 2017 Walter Camp Man of the Year for Outstanding Community Service, joining a distinguished list of winners including Gail Sayers, Roger Staubach, and Don Shula to name a few. Almost certain to be a future NFL Hall of Famer, Calvin is already a member of the College Football Hall of Fame and the Georgia Tech Hall of Fame. And tonight, the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame is proud to induct into their class of 2019 Calvin Johnson. Good evening, everybody. Go ahead and bring this thing home. I'm not going to be up here too long. Sorry for all the racket. I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to start um, by recognizing my mom and dad here, right over here to the left, Calvin Sr. and Arca Johnson. What a great example. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure they appreciate it. What a great example of, as parents. Um, so much so that from high school, head coach Rodney Walker and staff, uh, college, coach Chan Gailey and staff, and when I got to the NFL, my uh, receiver coach, uh, Sean Jefferson, all of them would threaten me, even to this day, if I was messing up on film or uh, I might not have uh, hustled out the huddle or something like that, I'm gonna call your mama. <laughs> and me being a grown man, I should be like, whatever, coach. But I'm like, man, don't call my mama. <laughs> <laughs> but that just goes to say, man, my mom and dad, you know, they raised us. We have uh, three other siblings and they raised us knowing that their children were going to succeed. I wanna start with a quote um, from Eric Thomas. He's a great motiv motivational speaker out of Detroit, Michigan. He said uh, one time he came to us to Detroit to talk to our team before the season started. He asked us, how, how bad do you want to succeed? And he said, I want to succeed as bad as I need to breathe. To succeed, one must strive for perfection. You have to be pissed off for greatness, meaning you're not okay with mediocrity. To succeed, you have to have a plan or goals. To succeed, you have to take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves to you. To succeed, you have to have great attitude and effort. To succeed, you have to fail. 
At some point in our lives, there will be a failure or a shortcoming, but our reaction, how we deal with this, these low points in our life, breeds success. Do we waver, worrying about the lost opportunities, or remain focused on our goal at hand? We must not lose patience with our goals because there's usually a process that goes into achieving them. It's not instant coffee, it's a process. I remember Steve Harvey used to say that on the morning show all the time. We all know the clap, uh, cliche, practice makes perfect, but I want to improve upon that cliche. It's perfect practice that makes perfect. Though none of us are perfect, rarely perfect, if at all, not really, it's that strive for perfection that yields greatness. The strive for perfection doesn't just happen between the white lines, no. It becomes our way of being. From wanting to be the perfect Christian to the perfect teammate, to the perfect dad, to the perfect husband, to the perfect friend. Believe me, I fall short in all those categories, but I'm, but I'm unwavered and focused on being the best version of myself. Ask yourself, self, do I want to be the greatest? And I remember my receiver coaches asked me that all the time, every season, do you want to be the greatest? And I was like, of course. And he's like, I'm going to coach you like you want to be the greatest. But like I said, ask yourself, do you want to be the greatest? And if your answer, answer is yes, then it's time to stra strap up and go to work. And I told you I'm going to keep it, keep it short and sweet. So I'd be remiss if I didn't thank God, my lovely wife, again, my parents, my mom and dad over here, my little niece that came out here today for their love and support, and the rest of my family for their love and support. And uh, like I say, it's unconditional. Even so much that my mom and dad, even from, from, from college on, my dad, had, my dad didn't retire yet in college, but uh, once he retired from college on through the pros, they sat there sitting there every game. And that's support. That's the love and support, the un un unconditional love and support that I'm talking about right there. I'd also be remiss if I didn't thank all of my teammates from college. I know that none of them are probably here. Uh, all my teammates from high school, sorry, college. I know I saw, um, I had a couple coaches here in, 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 the, in the room. Uh, my Georgia Tech alums, Tex, Danny, Lucius, to see you out there. Thank you all for being here. Um, and lastly, uh, thank you to the George, Georgia Sports Hall of Fame for this opportunity to be here this evening with all these distinguished peers, all eight of us that are going in this year. It was a pleasure to meet you all, and I wish you all the best as we go on our separate ways from this place. And I'm going to leave you with one quote as I get ready to go that my receiver coach used to always um, have posted up at the top of, top of his room, and it said, woe to the man who's unprepared for his greatest moment. He also used to say, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Thank you. Thank you.